a welcome from Vrindavan. And today we will read about one very interesting subject from Shri Shri Prema Bhakti Chandrika about how to meditate on the spiritual body and how to activate our spiritual body. The Gaudiya Vaishnava Sadaka should think of himself as an adolescent cowherd girl. A female associate of Sri Radharani's girlfriends engaged in the service of Sri Sri Radha Mohan on the order of these Sakis and decorated with Sri Radha Rani's leftover garments and ornaments. So that is the process how Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur found out from Sanat Kumara Sanghita. This is a very old uh, scriptures. And it is explained or commented by Srila Vishwanath Chakravati Thakur. And it's called Meditation on the Siddha Deha. First of all, I want to say that what is then Sri Radharani's leftover garments and ornaments? These are all her emotions. These are all her uh, feelings that have manifested as her dress, as her choli, as her ornaments. All these feelings are her feelings for Mohan. It's her expression of love. And the maidservants of Srimati Radhika, they take these feelings into their hearts so much so that they feel the feelings that Srimati Radhika is feeling. In this way, they learn how to assist her. And now let's read the commentary of Sri Vishwana Chakravati Thakur. And it's important to always remember that these uh, abilities to feel like a maidservant is one of two things. I want to do it. I am eager to do it. I have some desire and I need the mercy. Two things are working together. I'm begging for the mercy of my Gurudev, of my Vaishnavas, of Radha Mohan. Previously, Srila Thakur Mahashai has established Manjari Swarup and Manjari Bhav as the essential principles. And to prove it, he is now quoting one verse from the Sanat Kumara Sanghita Tantra and one verse from Srimad Rupa Goswami Pats Bhakti Rasamrita Sin. First, he offers evidence from Sri Sanat Kumara Sanghita. The Raga Nuga Sadaka must meditate on himself as a female associate of Sakis like Sri Lalita, Sri Vishaka, or Sri Rupa Manjari, who are dedicated to the service of Sri Radha Mohan on their order, and whose own body, consisting of spiritual aspirations, is decorated by Sri Radhika's leftover garlands, dresses, and ornaments. So that in itself is already such an interesting subject to meditate. First of all, we get an inspiration on our spiritual form 
we get a channel from our Gurudev who is giving us the name and the dress color. And who did, where did he get it from? He got it from Shrimati Radhika. That's what he is always saying. That is not my concocted idea. It has come down through the channel of love of Swamini, of my Gurudev, of his Gurudev. That is our Guru Parampara. And so we have a possibility here. The possibility is to go into that channel and to feel the mercy that has been given upon myself by going deeply into these subjects as much as my capacity is. And then how does the body develop that spiritual body? It is the soul that is growing into this existence, into this identity. So that body, it is said here, consists of spiritual aspirations. So like we can say, the body that I have now, that is also a result of former activities. Even how I... I uh, uh, the way I think it is expressed in the face, the way I feel is expressed in the face. Actually, the body is like a living entity in itself. It is created by desires, by feelings, and by meditation. And all these are expressions that are manifested in a certain way how to talk, how to feel, and how to see the world. So when we develop our spiritual bodies, means we are growing into the mercy of becoming or being Shrimati Radhika's maidservant, then this body will also develop from desires. And Baba is using the words spiritual desires or spiritual aspirations. That's what the body is made of. So we can, you know, if we try to visualize what is a body made of spiritual aspirations, that is a manifestation of desire for service. And that's what we hear a lot of times, that the body or the mind of the mandri exists out of nothing but sevaras. Means the desire to serve in a certain way. For example, some they like to make the flower garlands. And some they like to massage the lotus feet. And some they like to make the bed. And some they like to decorate the kunj. And according to these desires and likings, we also get befitting bodies. And that body, first of all, it manifests in my desired, um, let's say, aspirations. That means I think about something and sooner or later it will manifest as a spiritual, in a spiritual dimension. Like we have also many times heard about the uh, visions that Raghunath Das Goswami has. He has visions. And these visions, they become a reality after some time. But first he is visualizing it. Mm -hmm. 
So the visualization is a part of developing our spiritual body. That's why we always hear about the mental or mind uh, as the vehicle to go deep into our spiritual dimensions that way we want to serve. And that is also explained later on. So there is the service and the order of the elder gopis, especially for us, Srila Rupa Manjari. And then we have decorations that are leftovers from Shrimati Radhika's garlands, dresses and ornaments. And even those are made from bhav. They are made from feelings. This is a very interesting meditation. It is nothing that we can uh, grasp easily because in this world of material matter, we are used to, you know, touch things and feel things. And usually these things are made out of materials that are dimensionally perceivable. But now we are coming into a realm that is not easily perceivable by the external senses. But this is the way how we are instructed to do it, by mental uh, feeling and desires. And these desires will come into being. That's how it is explained here. Apart from following Sri Lalita, Vishaka, Sri Rupa, Manjari, the Sadaka also meditates on himself as a dedicated maidservant, engaged in loving devotional service. According to the Guru given Siddha Pranali, following his or her own Guru Manjari. Thus, he meditates on himself as a submissive maidservant or Priya Narma Saki, who follows Sri Lalita, Sri Rupa Manjari, and renders each and every loving service to Sri Radha Mohan on the order of his Sri Guru Manjari. So, just recently, our Gurudev also said that. This we have to do ourselves, this meditation nobody can do for us. Although it may seem difficult in the beginning, because there's nobody there to tell us, now do this, now do that, now do this. We are taking our mala and we try to go into the feelings that we have gotten also as remnants from our Guru Manjari, right? When we listen to Qatar from our Gurudev and we listen and listen again and again, but one day we have to do the jump into that unknown realm of love, of the feelings of Shimati Radhika. Like Raghunath Das Goswami is also crying every day. We are reading how he is crying. Sometimes he has a vision. And sometimes he feels empty and bereft mm -hmm. of association of Swamini. So now comes a very nice picture how the meditation goes that Srila Nath Thakur Mahashai is uh, experiencing or recommending. Mm -hmm. Guru Saki Vame Tribanga Bangi Mautame Chamarera Batasa Koribo. This is out of one of his songs. Standing on the left side of my Guru Rupa Saki, I will fan them, standing in a threefold bending form. He who teaches Raga Nuga Bhajan by giving initiation into Shri Krishna Mantra is a Guru Rupa Saki in Braja Lila. 
So the one teacher who is giving me this all is my Guru Manjari. Maybe I had many teachers in my life. I had a teacher who was teaching me how to write, how to learn, how to read. My mother was teaching me how to dress myself and how to f eat without making a big mess. <laughs> and my father taught me how to ride the bike, maybe. I have many teachers. Then I have teachers how to do my job, how to become a translator or a book maker or a seller or anything that we have ever learned in this world. We needed teachers. So also in that spiritual realm, there is our Guru Manjari waiting that is already, she is already uh, experienced in doing services for Radha Mohan. And we are standing on the left side of Guru Manjari, Guru Rupa Saki, and I will fan them, standing in a three-banded form, means relaxed and very joyful standing there amongst the servants of Radha Mohan. Mm -hmm. And uh, Srila Naratam Thakur says that in Braja Lila in Vrindavan, Sri Guru Dev is a superior Saki, means she has a higher level of realization and experience. Still, he must be considered as the embodiment of the Supreme Lord's grace. Means in external dealings, the sadhaka should never deal with him in a fraternal manner. For this is opposed to the teachings of the sadhus and the scriptures. So that means even though this Guru Manjari is my friend in Raja Lila, in this, in this, uh, world, I will be very respectful and I see this personality as the mercy of the Supreme Lord in my life. So again, the sadhaka should meditate on himself as a captivating, beautiful adolescent girl amongst all Krishna, Sri Krishna's Gopi concerts and their girlfriends. The word Chintayet, Atmanam Chintayet. No? It says, this is also in Zanat Goswa, uh, Kumar Samhita, Atmanam Chintanya. The word Chintayet in this verse means to see oneself, the soul, or identify oneself as a girl who looks and feels like one of the Nitya Siddha Sakis. In the way in which it was revealed by Sri Gurudev in the Siddha Pranali, or Ekadasa Bhavas. In other words, to for firmly identify oneself, I am this body which is endowed with such and such a form and a mood. So in this way we develop ourselves and have a new identity, means we are growing into our soul bodies. That's how it is called here, the soul. Identify the soul with a girl who looks and feels like one of the Sakis, the Nitya Siddha Sakis. When the Sadaka can establish such a firm self-esteem, he may consider himself to approach perfection. 
Such is the principle established by Sri Jiva Goswami Pad. So that is a development, right? Srila Prabhupada also is giving this explanation in, in the Bhagavad Gita that we go in the process of devotional service, we are doing our meditations, we are doing our prayers, our thinking about how to serve and how to make uh, Shrimati Radhika happy and Guru Manjari and Guru Dev happy by by serving the Vaishnavas. There are so many examples. And slowly and and by practice it becomes a deeper self esteem. That means I am living in this world with a fixed consciousness. That means I always remember who I am and I remember many things about Shimati Radhika's daily life, what she's needing now, and I live in this inner meditation according to my ability. And that is called performing bhajan with full spiritual self-esteem. That is a development. That is nothing that will grow overnight. Although if we have some past life impressions or sukritis, it can also go quick. But for most of us, it takes some time. But it's always very auspicious to listen about this process, right? To listen how it works and how our, our teachers have recommended the meditation and the um, step by step that we can take in our daily lives. And then comes a very beautiful explanation about Raganuga Bhajan being a wonderfully powerful spiritual psychology. It's a spiritual psychology. What does it mean? Psychologists say that of all the human powers, the powers of thought that are self-arising and falling, manufactured and destroyed, no, that the self-manifest, oh, sorry, I repeat, it was, uh, I slipped. Psychologists just say that of all human powers, the powers of thought that are self-manifest within the brain are the most powerful ones. Since through research, we can know that anything, anything rising and falling, manufactured and destroyed, preached and dissipated is sitting on the nature or the golden throne of our thoughts. This is caused by our customary worship of this power. So the power of the mind is like a habit that we have developed. We are living in the minds, usually, in my thoughts, in my feelings, in my remembrances, in my memories. Everything that I have experienced is like in the, you know, how do you say that, software of my brain. But then, of course, there's another level. And that is the level of the heart or the soul. And that is what we want to develop now. We want to develop with the power of thought, our spiritual identities, our spiritual existence that is already there, but we need to somehow connect to it in a real experienced identity. Our Gurudev has given us the information. It's like, you know, when we become a artist on the stage of a theater, right? For example, let's say I am Julia. So then there is a nice dress hanging. 
for the for the Juliet for the you know she has a nice dress and she has a shawl and she has a she has a, a maybe some nice wig you know so she has nice hair but if i don't go into this close it's difficult to play the role right why do we have a dress why do we have a hair color we have a you know black hair and we have a we have a, a color of the skin and we have a surface why so that we can use these informations and make them alive internally alive in our thought process we have to take the role if we want to play the theater we need to take the role good if said this yesterday i think in the evening he said i gave you the possibilities but you have to use them i cannot do it for you the guru is not the the your um you know he cannot do your job like when you are working in a theater and there is someone who's called the the regisseur no how is it called in english the one who is giving the tips how to act and how to express in such a way that it looks uh, good and that it comes across real so he gives advice he is the navigator there is navigation also in the theater but we have to take on the roles ourselves we have to embody embody them somehow and that is the the power of the thought the power of the human mind that is also used in our raganuga bhajan mm -hmm. and the results of this power are indestructible and those who keep this power within the brain will keep it also after their destruction mm -hmm. so means when we practice to be a dasi in this lifetime and we go deep and we go become fixed in this practice it will go it will happen in this lifetime that we have some realizations that will never be lost even though this body will be lost but our realizations that we can do in the guidance of our gurudev in the guidance of rindavan dam they will be with us they will never leave us but i have to try it right <laughs> i have to do it. i have to take on the costume i have to live in that role if i don't take on the role then i will live in what i have produced with this body and this mind for this life and that is temporary right so again and again he is uh, the the explanation of the spiritual psychology the result of the power of the undestructible uh, mind power just as the sky within a jug is not destroyed after the jug is destroyed but merges within the firmament similarly this great power is not destroyed when the human body is destroyed that's why they say also when we leave this body our desires will go with us so if we can uh, guide our desires my desires in that direction of the spiritual maid servant of shrimati radhika yeah. with the mercy of all the our teachers and of chaitanya mahaprabhu who is radha and krishna and who came to invite us into that great leela of vrindavan then this will not be destroyed after the body has been destroyed and that is our good uh, inspiration and our good hope also that we concentrate with the power of the mind on the eternal uh, ext not in uh, et uh, yeah eternal sorry 
eternal uh, soul body that Gurudev is ready to give us when he sees there is an extreme eagerness and intense desire. Just as the book or musical composition of a great author or musician does not heed facts like birth or death, it continues to increase the delight of society or attains the status of a mental bouquet of love. So he gives the example that if someone is a great uh, poet or a songwriter, and even if that person does not live anymore, but the song is still there and it's inspiring millions of souls in their journey. We have seen that with many famous songs and we have seen it also here with this Vilap Kushmanjali. We are reading it. These are the flowers of tears of uh, Rupa uh, Raghunath Das Goswami. And uh, they are as powerful as ever. He has left uh, this behind as, as a gift, as an invitation. It is his meditations, but he is gifting these feelings to us so we can put them in our minds, in our hearts. And that, in that way, he goes on uh, uh, glorifying the power of meditation through the mind and through intense Intense, intense desire. If the mundane mental faculties of mankind have such power, mundane means like any love song. Any love song can be a hit, and it can be a hit for many generations. Like, for example, the Beatles or so. Most of them have already left their bodies, not all. But their songs are still sung also from the young teenagers of that age. So this is even a mundane example. Then the human brain can certainly not conceive of the power of spiritual psychology or the fixed meditation on God of the sadhaka that becomes ever so more powerful with the aid of the power of devotion. So that means that the power of devotion and the power to fix on the divine uh, role model, so to say, our Rupa Manjari, our Raghunath Das Goswami, our Guru Manjari, has even more capacity to bring us to the level of eternity. These are all like, you know, these last uh, sentences were well, just to make us strong to believe that it works, that our meditation to to be a maidservant of Srimati Radhika is something that will stay with us forever. We will not lose it. Actually, by thinking of his Siddhadeya and being situated in the identification with his Swarup, the Gaudiya Vaishnava Sadaka becomes fixed in meditation on his mental service of Sri Radha Mohan with the help of the thought power endowed with the like minded grace power of the wise men of yore. So here is another point is not only my own thought power, but it is the power of others who are also practicing the same thing for many, 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 many generations. We are also connected with them. Thus, there is no doubt at all that they will very swiftly attain absorption in bath and reach the kingdom of perfection. This is the utmost manifestation of spiritual psychology and the very sweet spiritual flavors of Godhead within the soul of the sadhaka. 
So this is the highest manifestation of spiritual psychology. And it is that what we are trying to realize in Vrindavan. We are not here for a holiday. It's not so interesting for a holiday place. <laughs> But for the spiritual upliftment, it is very, very, very special place. That's why we come here. And we try to overcome our mental or bodily uh, conceptions and go into the feelings of being a servant of Shrimati Radhika and Gurudev is helping. But he cannot do it for us. <laughs> Yesterday he said, some they keep the Guru picture at home and they, they keep it like a picture of their dog. But this is not the way. It's not like, oh, this is one of my sweet uh, teachers and I like to put a flower there or some food. No. He is giving the example and I am supposed to follow. So I also try to take it serious and by mercy, it will happen that these powerful processes of identification with our spiritual, let's say, soul body of made of feelings for Srimati Radhika can manifest as a real truth in my life. And Gurudev is waiting for this moment. And he's looking at us and trying to inspire us in every way that he can do. <laughs> So who's there? I cannot see you all. Radhe Radhe, my dear Suniti. Radhe Radhe, Brajeshwari. You are in a wonderful place. Please give drops in the magical world in Birkenfeld. <laughs> Thank you so much. Drip drop. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm sorry, I am in my room because all the other rooms are full. And also, Gurudev is giving initiation right now. He's very busy. We had already two initiations this morning. And here, maybe you hear the kirtan of our kunj downstairs. <laughs> So, is there any questions or inspiration for this subject? Radha, uh, Radha Charan, you want to add anything? Um, it seems what internet not so good because your picture is frozen. Oh, Maybe. really? Yeah. Oh, oh ho, ho, ho. Uh, I just want to say what, um, how I understand uh, meditation on Swaru is this word meditation sounds like yogic uh, practice from Ashtanga Yoga, where uh, will is very important element. But in Gaudvaishnava practice, it's uh, working in uh, other way. It's due to ruchi, due to attachment, due to heart attachment. A uh, person could not forget the object of meditation. It's we're using this word meditation, but it's I think it's more uh, absorption due to attachment, like this. Absolutely. 
And, uh, yeah. in, my, in my case, uh, when I'm trying to do this uh, just by my will, it can work, it, it could not work, it, I don't know. But then I hear in something really sweet what my heart is need, it's, it's happening spontaneously. When I'm hearing what I need, which is very attractive to my heart, mm -hmm. then mind is stuck in this. And next uh, point, what I'm using, uh, what uh, Damodar Prabhu told, uh, accept the feelings as your own means. Not to is doing this. I'm doing this. If my mind stuck in this moment of Philip Kusumanjali, in this Lila, then I'm doing this. Then it's working. Like this. Rather. Of course, we can, uh, how to say, um, be the witness. Witnessing. We can look how Tulu Simanjari is doing but much more interesting if we are doing this. In some case, it can be difficult because, for example, today, morning time, we read how to Simanjari put in a red line. I could not... I, I don't understand how, it's, how to do it, how it looks. I never saw in, in human practice, I couldn't find this. I never saw it. It's very difficult for me. But some some uh, pictures very easy to see because very understandable. Like this. Yes, Radhi, you are right. We have to attach where it is easy for us to attach, where we can easily have a relation from what we have heard, what we read, that is a natural process of attachment and becoming our second identity, so to say, or first identity, even best. It's a natural process. But of course, like I said, if you are in a theater and you're supposed to play a role, but you are not willing to put the dress, then what is the use? <laughs> You have to put the costume. <laughs> we have to put it on. We have to try it. We have to jump into the into the Leela in a way that means we are accepting the Leela and we want to be part of the Leela. I want to give my services. I want to give my little input as as much as it is, maybe not much. But I try. And Gurudev is helping by giving the dress and the color and the name. And yes, I try to associate with these souls who are also eager to do that. And that's why we go to Rindavan, right? We want to be in the best circumstances for the for going into the Leela, because here the Leela is all pervading. Everyone is in that Leela of Radharani's service, and everyone is saying Radhe Radhe. And that's why it's easier here. But that doesn't mean that it's impossible wherever I am in this world. I can always live in my feelings and live in my uh, dreams, in my wishes, in my aspirations, in my thought power no that was baba's uh, very strong words here spiritual psychology means to live in the power of our thoughts to my service to gurudev and to swamini and that also needs to be practiced it's not only a theory that i have heard about it no i also like to somehow Attached to this, like you said, uh, Radha Charan, how can I more attach? How can I, re you know, my container of my heart be open and receive? 
it's so easy to live in this world because we are so used to live in this world. Now I have to open my container to live in the spiritual dimension. There is this chance now in this lifetime by the mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. I want to risk the chance. I want to jump into that unknown mystery of the service to Srimati Radhika's lotus feet. At least I say that I am open, I am, I am eager, I want to accept it as a reality. Maybe I have no access to this reality yet. I hear about it and my heart gets purified. But this reality will become a reality. That is what Baba says here. After the body has been, you know, perished, or my bodily consciousness, we can say it like this also, when my bodily consciousness is less, then there's more chance to live in my spiritual identity. That we want to practice or we are praying for mercy for that. Okay, my dears, I think this was it for today. If there's any more questions or inspiration or sharing, please do it. I think it's a very interesting subject. And it is verse 54 of Prema Bhakti Chandrika. And whenever the subject comes, Gurudev is pressing us to take it seriously and become active in our own inner world. You know? It's our inner world of our relation and service to Swamini. With Guru Manjari and standing to her left side. Jai Jai Shri Radhe. I'm sorry today here from the room, but this was at least something quiet. <laughs> the last times we were in front of Gurudev's room in that cage, it was so noisy. It was so, you know, moving people all the time. It's very difficult to concentrate then. But today it was nice also with my small, small friends here from Japan. <laughs> So we say Arigato Gosaimas. Thank you, Suniti. <laughs> Radha Radha. Welcome. Suniti, it was Radha, Radha. a very, very important um, subject today. Short but deep and sweet. And uh, it remember me to go deeper and deeper. I, I wish me that I can more more grow up in this life i'm i'm nothing i'm i don't know what i can do but without you and without gurdev and without all of you here in this uh, association it's it's never ever happened it's so crazy in the material world <laughs> thank you true. very much <laughs> thank you very much thank you all and uh 